Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and welcome to this series of database lessons. So in this video, we will talk about the role of computers in the world of database. So what is the role of computers in the world of database? Let's take a real world example. Let's take a train station. And let's go back in time and think how the system around the train station would have evolved. I mean, I'm not going to talk about how they built trains, railroads, etc. I'm going to talk about just the system. Probably the first train station would have started with one ticketing booth right, or ticketing counter however you may want to call it and the ticketing officer would have used a ledger book like this to note down the particulars of tickets being sold right there that is a database handwritten but still it's a database now, that train station becomes very popular. More and more people are starting to use it. And so the ticketing booth gets very crowded often. That's an issue, right? So how do we solve it? Open more booths. Simple. Right? Just you open more booths. Cool. Now, people can buy tickets easily without waiting for a longer period. But that creates a new problem. Now, each ticketing booth creates its own database. Everyone maintains their own ledger books. And there is no instant communication between each ticketing officers. Let us assume all the tickets on a particular train are sold out. Okay, so now the customer at first booth cancels his or her reservation. And only few seconds after that, the customer at fourth booth wants to buy a ticket. What will happen? Most probably, the customer will be told that all the tickets were sold out, even though there is one available. One just became available due to the reservation cancellation there. If there was an instant communication between all, uh, all these ticketing officers, then the customer at the fourth booth would have been given the ticket which was just cancelled. So this is just one among the problems faced by this system where the data was maintained in notebooks, ledger books manually. Another issue is what if the customer who reserved a ticket at the counter number two or booth number two comes back in few minutes and now stands at booth number three and wants to make some changes in his or her reservation. It will not be possible since booth three's ledger will not have the details of this customer. It will be at booth two's ledger because this is where the customer made the reservation. So, how do we solve that? 
the solution computer based databases install the databases use the computer systems and computer networking systems installed databases on a singular system note I am using the word singular system not a singular computer I'll explain that later but then use the database install the database in a single system where all these ticketing officers can access single database right so that's the solution computer based databases so in this slide all the ticketing counters can access a single database stored on the central computer and they can exchange information instantly among them a reservation cancellation at one ticket counter can be booked for another customer who is in a different counter almost immediately not only on a different computer depending upon the spread of the network the customer can be in a different location to book the ticket or maybe at his or her home and book it via via internet if the database is available on internet real time so these modern times computers have become the basic foundation on which databases stand up and so so computers and databases are like so integrated these times that almost all the databases are stored in one or other form of a computer could be a smartphone or could be a small computing device in a big uh, a medical device or something so computers are so uh, uh, being used for most of the databases for the very purpose of uh, the few examples that I gave thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions or comments please send them to me thanks